In this section, we're going to show you how to assign cell formatting. Excel has some great functionality built into it in order to ensure that your data is properly and consistently formatted. In our example, we have numbers that are in Excel's general format by default. So if you click on a cell and right click, you see this format cells. And as you can see, the default is general. We want to make these numbers, so we click on number. You can have any one of these other ones. And what it does is it just shows you the sample, what it looks like. And from each of these, you can select a different um, variable. So for example, we're selling whole units, so we don't want any decimals. And if we had more than a thousand, we'd like the separator. And just because I have an accounting background, I like to put the negative in brackets and color it red. So we click OK. And now if we right click again, go to Format Cells, you can see our numbers standing out. Now there's a couple of ways I can copy this over and around to other cells. The first way is I've formatted this cell. I like the way it's formatted. I have it active. I click up here on the Format Painter and I can drag it over and you can see Excel adjusted these values. Now the problem with using color is now if I want to Format Paint, you can see it copied the formatting exactly. So if I was dead set on using color, I would have to go back and redo my coloring which I have. Um, again, I see no value. Actually, let's eliminate it. Again, you can highlight. Now, an alternative to using the Format Painter is you highlight all the cells you want to edit. You right-click Format Cells. And in this case, they're all the same, but you could just go through General, set this up as you liked it, click OK, and it would automatically apply it to all of the cells. And just to show you the functionality, we've, I've used the control button to highlight a couple of non-contingent cells. And as you can see, it comes up with a blank because there's two different cell formats, one here, one here. So if we click number and OK, these cells will now have that same formatting. Now Excel makes some of this a little bit easier. If you look at this number, so you can pick from the drop down. Again, there's always multiple ways of doing things. So we could click from the drop down, we could select number, and you can see that defaults, it gives us a couple of decimals. So if we want to add more decimals, we click here. If we want to take them away, we click here. And again, if we wanted currency, we click the drop down. And we can have, for example, the dollar sign. Now I'm going to undo. So here's the undo button here. And we'll just undo right back to where we were before. And the great thing about undo is you can click it as many times as you need to, or you can click the drop. And we could literally undo everything we've done in the spreadsheet. Obviously, I don't want to do that. Um, but that's just a quick way to add some automatic formatting as required and just to make your formatting look more readable. Um, some people really like dollar signs. Personally, I don't just because I think um, if you look at this, it just adds a little extra to look at, it takes a little longer to analyze. So it doesn't impact your values, it's just how it's displayed.